Hi YouTube, BB here and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be opening a few boxes of what I got from the New Zealand anime sale from Madman. So the first box that I've got here is one that I ordered just after Christmas. And then I've got one more box that I ordered right before New Year's Eve. Baby's pick will be coming up fairly soon and after that I will also be doing the anime tag that Kid Otaku has tagged me in. So Kid Otaku, your challenge has been met and it will be up soon. Without further ado, let's get into opening up these uh, boxes and see what we've got. So first we've got Lime Barrels of Iron, the complete series. It looks like it's a mecha anime. I haven't seen this at all and I don't know what it's like but I'm looking forward to watching it. So this series is usually $60 but I got it for 10 Then I bought Lime Barrels of Iron, the OVA. So I'll have to make sure to watch this as soon as uh, I watch the complete series. This one here is usually $10 so pretty cheap but I got it for 5 Next I've got Toroko Collection 1 and 2. So Toroko 1, it looks like it's a fighting anime. I tried to buy series that I haven't seen so then I can find something new to watch. And then here is Collection 2. Collection 1 is normally $30 but I got it for $10. Where Collection 2 jumps on price and it's normally 60 but I got it for 10 Next I have Kite Liberator. Um, this is a 59 minute OVA series I think. I'm, I haven't seen it so it just says here that it's 59 minutes. So it's usually $17 but I got it for 3 Next, I've got Pet Shop of Horrors. It's 100 minutes, one disc. So, it's reasonably short. I'm actually unsure as to how much this originally is. I got it for $3, but it seems to be out of stock and I can't find anywhere how much it was before I bought it on sale. This next one isn't anime, but I bought it because of the fact that Samurai Jack is coming out with a new season. Um, back in the day I watched this on Cartoon Network and I didn't really get into it but with this new series coming out I thought with them being on sale and all I might as well buy it. So I've got uh, Samurai Jack the movie. Uh, season 2 and season one. I think it's um, series or season five that will be coming out uh, as of this year. So I'll be looking forward to having a look at that. So season one and season two were both $25 each normally and I got them for $5 each and the movie is usually $20 and I got that for $5. So I mean that's a pretty big saving for uh, two seasons and a movie anyways. Now this one I'm excited to have. I've got Psycho Pass, the complete series box set Blu-ray. So first off it comes with the Collection 1 and Collection 2. Obviously both on Blu-ray. Um, and Season 1's OST. So it has two discs. As you see here, it says this one, disc two. So a lot of music to listen to. Um, 15 songs on each. So this was expensive. Normally it's $140, but I got it for $90. So it was still quite... Um, pricey compared to you know anything else that I'm buying on sale but these are cool but yeah so there's the box once again if you wanted to 
see what it looks like. Next we have Waiting in the Summer. I decided to buy this because of the fact that I haven't seen it and it doesn't look like it's going to be getting dubbed anytime soon. It looks so pretty and um, I saw a YouTuber uh, talk about this in their 12 days of anime. Um, I'm sorry, I've forgotten off the top of my head who it was. I'll put a link in the description below to that video if people are interested in finding out more about this series and what he thought of it. So with it being a subtitled series, it's normally $60. I got it for $20. Um, so I'm very happy with the fact that I got it for $20 because I don't really want to spend $60 on a subtitled series that I've never seen. Next up is Capellion. I am so excited to get this on DVD finally. I have seen it before and I absolutely love it. Um, I'll be doing a baby's pick on this eventually so make sure to keep an eye out for that. Um, but yeah, usually this was $60. But I got it for 40 so it was still a little bit pricey, but I was happy to buy it for $40 because I absolutely love this series. Next up is another one that I'm so happy that I've got, Chinebio Season 1 on Blu-ray. I've seen it already, as I'm pretty sure a lot of people have. Um, it's actually called Love, Chinebio and Other Delusions, um, if you, know, you want to know the full name. Sorry, I always call it Chinebio. Um, but yeah, another one of my favourites. And um, this one here is also normally $60 and I got it for $45. So another reasonably pricey one, but again, pretty happy with uh, grabbing it for $45. Here we've got Freezing Vibrations Season 2. So the second season of um, the Freezing series. Um, haven't seen this one, have watched the first series and loved it. Um, if you don't like itchy anime, then you might not enjoy this because there are a lot of uh, panty shots and boobage and a lot of jiggle physics going on there. Um, loved the first season, got this for $40, it's usually $65. Next is a bit of a blast from the past, uh, Tichimon. Collection 1 and Collection 2 for Season 2. Um, I used to watch this when I was a child and absolutely love it. Um, so when I saw that these were on sale, I jumped at the chance to buy them. So Collection 1 is normally $40, but I got it for $15. And... And Collection 2 is normally $50, but I got it for $10. Another series that I haven't seen that I really wish that I had is Honey and Clover. Um, this is the second collection out of four, I'm pretty sure it is. I did put the first one onto um, my list to buy. Unfortunately, when it's out of stock and the person or whoever's distributing it isn't bringing it out anymore for Madman. So, got Collection 2, haven't got Collection 1. Um, this is normally $40 and I got it for $10 and I'm pretty sure it was about the same for the Collection 1. But yeah, so let me know if you've got the full set of this. Um, you're very lucky because it doesn't seem to be around anymore. Next I've got Barker and Test, the OVA DVD set. Um, normally $30, I got it for $10. I have seen the first season, haven't seen the second season, and haven't seen this. So next we've got Slayer's Evolution R, which is the fifth um, series of the Slayers. Um, I have previously bought all the others, and this was to finish everything off. It's usually $25, so pretty cheap, but I got it for $5. Last in this box we've got Tenchi Muyo, the movie box set. So the box is quite pretty and you see it has the three movies in there. This is usually $61 but I got it for $15 so very happy with getting this. And that's all that we've got for that box so let's head to the next box. Mm -hmm. 